Bam and welcome back everybody. Today we're doing some more tabs and this time a sequel to one of the greatest maps we ever played. Angry Tom movie showdown 2 Electric Boogaloo. This is the sequel once more. Take up the director's chair and do battle by adding units to these iconic movie scenes. First up Nightmare on Elm Street 4. The evil spirit of Freddy Krueger attacks Alice and Dan in their dreams. Can they conquer their fear and defeat him? A uh, bonus win by using the horror movie icon from the first campaign. Uh, so here we go, Freddy Krueger. Man, using the Jester, pretty good choice. Uh, so we have to use the horror movie icon from the previous one. I'm pretty sure that was the Executioner, who was J Jason Voorhees. Uh-oh. One of our heroes is down. Uh, we failed to kill the healer. Oh, okay. Wow, wild swing. Oh my god, he blocked it with his staff. Oh my god, like that was straight into the forehead. Oof. The Hobbit, an unexpected journey. Bilbo and the dwarves make their escape along the river by barrel as the elves do battle with orc raiders. Bonus objective, place a hobbit as one of your units and have it survive the battle. So we've got elves and I'm guessing this is Legolas because he gets to rapid fire. I guess the orcs, like a lot of clubs, a lot of spear throwers. Man, that is a lot of orcs. <laughs> These are the dwarves in the barrels. I love it. That is amazing. Such a good idea. I wonder if we put a halfling up here, he won't get won't get killed. And maybe we just get more like shooties. Should we get like skelly men? These can be, you know, the The way is shut. It was made by those who are dead, and we dead keep it. The way is shut! Okay, right, perfect. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go like full Army of the Dead um, roleplay here. Wow, I bet Swordcast will actually be pretty legit here. That can be the, you know, the King of the Undead. Um, is the Halfling... Okay, the Halfling is stuck up there. He's doing great. Man, the Orcs were not ready for this. How are the Barrel Boys doing? Not terribly. They are kind of getting a little bit washed away. But man, the gun line is really working well. Oh, wow, a lot of orcs and a lot of dwarves have been chewed up in this terrible mill. Blammo, wow, okay. Uh, we super did that. Man, leader of the army of the dead. What a killer. Shaun of the dead, oh my god, perfect. Taking refuge in the Winchester has not gone according to plan, as Shaun and the group Find the pub surrounded by zombies trying to break in with nothing but the gun from above the bar to defend themselves. I fucking knew it! When using no other ranged units. Uh, we've got the Winchester and all of the... This, this is the rest of the crew and they're all gonna help load it. Who can five people operate one gun? We kind of gotta delay them, I feel. So, like, skellies could be good to, like, maximize gun. <gasps> Who's that sneaky boy? I'm worried that the gun... As we have seen in the past, too many musket, uh, too many cheerleaders on the gun means that it fires faster than it can aim. Wow, I did not realize that skeletons would get scared of other skeletons. Oh my god, it's... Yeah, the Winchester kind of pretty wild with the old shooting, but our undead have really really taking this fight. That's it, just get the zombies on side. Pow. Should we take control and take out the last boy? Oh, we got him. There we go. Good shooting, Tex. Clash of the Titans. Perseus is on his way to save his beloved Andromeda from being sacrificed to the Kraken. He must hunt down and slay the dreaded Gorgon Medusa. A uh, bonus slay Medusa, the Ice Archer with a shielded unit. How about brawlers? Man, we never bring brawlers to the far- like, the, the party. The farty? The party. So not only do you have a shield, but you actually have, like, a half-decent weapon. Not great at fighting with it. There we go. Really tanking those arrows. Oh my god. Holy shit, that mirror shield. Oh. Oh, we did it! Assuming everyone else is dead. Where are you going? With your bow tie. Uh oh, there's still a snake archer. Oh my god, we've got our last hero up against two dudes. Oh! One of the evil snakes got us. Okay, everyone else is dead. We have a lone knight. We upgraded. 
uh, to summon a bit tankier. All you have to do is just close the ground. This time you brought full plate. Oh! Stabbed him in the knee. And... We did it. Killed by a shielded unit. Flash Gordon? Gordon's alive! Flash Gordon, pursued by one of the ships from Ming the Merciless, soon turns the tables as Volta and his Hawkmen sweep down from the skies and storm the ship. Dive! Win only using units that can fly slash hover. Uh, includes balloons and vampires. Okay. It says we're allowed to use vampires. Although, how often do we use balloons? Dive! Okay, right. Are you going to be able to get in there, my little flame wheelbarrow? Or are you going to get tripped up by the tiniest little bump? And he's dead. No, he's not. Oh my god, he made it in somehow. And now he's dead. <laughs> okay, right. A lot of the Valkyries actually survived the initial contact. Man, they could win this alone. They will win this alone. I don't think it really mattered what I placed. Just the Valkyries did it. <gasps> A ballooner made it in. Oh my god, he picked up two. Wow. I did not realize they could do that. Ooh. Oh my god, Valkyrie's coming in, trying to kill Steel. You nerds. Oh. The drop. Good job. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Tim the Enchanter has led King Arthur and his knights to the cave of Care Banog. But the entrance is guarded by a most fearsome beast. Death awaits you all with big, nasty, pointed teeth. You can't see, but I'm making the hand gesture. What an eccentric performance. Bonus objective, include a bomb thrower in your force and have King Arthur, King of the Britons, uh, survive. Oh my god, is that Tim the Enchanter? That's <laughs> pretty, pretty good. Holy shit. Brave Sir Robin, he has a tiny head. And who are we up against? You know what? I don't even want to know. Well, why bring one bomb thrower when we can bring all the bomb throwers? Maybe not in that formation. We've got our holy hand grenades ready. What could be in the cave? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's the Monkey King. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure bombs are going to do a pretty good job here. Uh, oh, maybe they won't. Okay, we're killing his dupes. Oh god, he is jumpy. Wow, I did not know what was going to come out of there. But, you know what, I respect the Monkey King as the choice. Okay, suddenly now bombs have turned into mass-friendly fire. And... Oh, there's a ton of healers coming out. Okay, not super chill. Although they will pinpoint who is the correct. Uh, okay, right, well, they are dead. Bamo! We did it! We holy hand grenade the hell out of that boy! That was a great fight. Um, pretty all over the place. Not entirely sure how that would have gone. Good times. Kung Fu Hustle? Holy shit. The X gang angered at the death of one of their members, prepares to massacre the townspeople of the block, when the three great masters step forward to defend the innocent. Bonus, win only using units that wield no weapons. Holy shit. Uh, Kung Fu Hustle is one of my favorite films of all times. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend. Boom, we have the masters. <laughs> I, like, I like that the X gang are the brawlers. That's pretty cool. They've got axes. Very smart. Sure, let's just try like some Taekwondo. Oh, there's the leader of the axe gang. I'm surprised there's no executioners in here. Uh, also people with big axes. Man, they... those Taekwondos. They just like kick straight under the shield, making them really good against this. God, we are gonna have to make it past... past the Jarl. Wow. Oh my god, I... Did we basically not lose any people? God, only here where there was like a bigger cluster, but those kicks. Ooh, buddy, that's a bad time for you. Okay, unleash the mace. Wow, okay, just we brought up the whole dojo and just took him down. What a pro. Man, Kung Fu Hustle. <laughs> the movie twister, I love it. As the last desperate measures, to deploy their research device Dorothy into the Category 5 tornado, Joe and Bill drive the truck and device headfirst into the Twister and leap from their vehicle before fleeing as the tornado veers their way. Uh, bonus objective, win whilst also ensuring Dorothy is fully deployed, um, the longship and its crew are fully killed. Okay, right, I like that. That's nice because it means that we've got to like goof around quite a bit. Let's see what happens when a whole load of 100 halflings get sucked in and destroy my computer. 
Okay, here it comes. Oh man, do you remember the trailer of Twister when the cow, the cow like flies past the screen? Cow. Okay, right, Dorothy fully deployed. It has gone absolutely fine. And now my boys, oh my God, that does a lot of damage. This is not, not what the halflings wanted, man. Very sad times. <laughs> I like that ineffectual swing of the oar, just trying to take out the twister. Oh my god, yeah, this this has not gone well. Uh, you really need range units to take out the tornadoes, but I don't think that... I don't think it's gonna work. Okay, if we deploy ranged units over here, hopefully the boat gets kind of like pulled apart. Oh my god, harpoons. Would harpoons work? Wow. I am very curious to find out. Okay, we just want it to stay on the boat long enough to kill everyone. We've got our boys deployed nice far back. Okay, right, they're all dead now. Right, let's try and bag us a tornado. God, we've got enough, like, harpoons going in. Surely someone can get a hit. It doesn't seem to be moving anymore. I think it's afraid. It's afraid! It's creeping slightly closer. God, every now and again we'd, like, bag a bit of a cheerleader. This is like a weird... Old-timey version of Ghostbusters. Just don't cross the streams, everybody. Uh oh it made it in. I spoke too soon. Oh, God, it's a massacre. Yeah. Victory! <gasps> what? Okay, right, we did the bonus objective. All of the boat boys were dead at the end. None of them made it out. And somehow, someone in here landed a killing blow. Good work, man, Twister. Uh, Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back. The Empire's located the rebel base on the planet Hoth and deployed a force spearheaded by AT-80s to storm the rebels' defenses and destroy the shield generator. Bonus, don't let any foes get close to the shield generator catapult or it will be destroyed. Man, the AT-80s coming over. We've got to deploy, oh shit, and these are like AT-STs, right? Does that make sense? Oh my god, the shield generator. He's just having a bad time. That's like the, the Tesla coil. Ooh, it's not a man, it's electricity. Well, I feel like, first of all, we've got to send out snow speeders. We're deploying them en force. Let's see how uh, how they do. I think Valkyries are actually pretty good versus the old mammoths. Okay, Minotaur. Oh god, they are not good if they fly underneath its legs and all kill themselves instantly. That was a really bad show. What are you doing? The breakdancing mammoth. What is this? Okay, well we brought him down. Oh my God, that is like literally how, how, it, how one of the AT-ATs looked like when it died. Donk. Are you gonna behave yourself? Okay, thank you. Thank you for answering me. Okay, a lot of Valkyries, a lot of archers. I mean, um, snow speeders and uh, Rebel Troopers. <gasps> yeah, we did it. Luke Skywalker, you did amazingly in your Snowspeeder. Evil Dead 3, Army of Darkness. Oh my God, I love it. Forces of Undead lay siege to the castle, seeking to claim the Necronomicon for their own. Led by Ash, can the medieval defenders hold back the tide until Duke Henry arrives with reinforcements? Bonus, take control of Ash, the pirate captain, and slay the Deadite leader, the Reaper, with your boomstick. Okay, here's Ash. This is my boomstick. Yeah. Get out of my way, skelly man. I've got a job to do. Uh-oh. Oh, that looked pretty good. I feel like that was our kill. Okay, this is my boomstick. Damn skeletons. <laughs> Maybe he got bombed. Who knows? Uh, pal, game over, man, game over. Uh, congratulations, I hope you enjoyed playing this as much as I enjoyed making it. How many bonus objectives did you complete? I'm gonna say probably all of them. Maybe that last one is a bit iffy, but I pulled the trigger, the guy died very quickly. Join with making one final installment. Thanks for playing this one though. Uh, man, amazing, I loved it, fantastic. Really good, really, really good. Uh, well, until next time, everybody. Goodbye! Hey, it's me, Luke! 
I was on my way to Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. But instead, I'm here watching this video, and I hope you're enjoying it too. Maybe put some likes and things like that to support old Angori Tom. He's my true Jedi. I don't know what I'm saying. Goodbye. <laughs>